What's up dudes, welcome back to the channel. Uh, super exciting today today. Uh, if you can kind of see in the background there, I have registered the Beams KE70, which is really, really, really exciting. I haven't had a registered Corolla for like, oh, actually like a year, because the 8.6 was registered for a while before it broke. Anyway, it's really cool having a registered car that I'll actually be like comfortable driving around in. Um, that's the KE70. But anyway, so what I've done is I've registered the car, uh, we're about to put the plates on, I've got to put some different wheels on the car, and I bought a bunch of interior stuff to make the car enjoyable to sit in and drive around. So we'll go over that stuff and then, yeah, we'll put some wheels on, go wash the car, and then do some scenic driving and take some nice scenic pictures. But yeah, very cool, chill afternoon. Um, but yeah, ready? Cool stuff. So... One of my followers actually like in like the first year of doing YouTube gave me this and I've been holding on to it to find the perfect use for it. And now we have the perfect use for it. It's a clip-in cup holder um, so I can drink my Red Bulls while I'm driving. Uh, this shifter I actually bought on my first trip to Japan back in, when was my first trip? Maybe like 2013 or 14? Oh, 2014, definitely. Um, so yeah, I've actually had this for like six years and it was in my last registered KE, my panel van back in the day. And yeah, I thought it'd be cool to chuck that in here, just to keep it alive. Uh, and then yeah, number plates obviously, and I bought this Nardi wood grain 360mm steering wheel because that's my favourite size of Nardi steering wheel, and wood grain wheels are really cool because you know this is brown and this is also brown and, oh that's ginger. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't have a boss kit so I can't put that in today, but next video of this car it'll be in there because I need to order a boss kit. I think I have a Corolla one, but I'm pretty sure they're different to the Arteza one, so I'm just going to order an Arteza one or an IS200 one, and then it matches, and then I don't have to worry about it, and it should all work. And then I guess we should get to the wheels part of this. Quick, Dave, unlock the rear door. I bought these. 15 by 6.5. Well, they raise fin emu things. I don't know, they're really cool. And they were, like, stupidly cheap just on, like, an importer's website like half an hour from my house, so good deal on that. Um, but I think we're gonna put those on the front and then put the yeah buds on the back. And that's pretty much the plan for the day. So we're gonna jack up the car right now so then we can start putting these on and then we can go wash it and then we can go do things. Are you, are you excited, Dave? Thanks, good thumbs up, <laughs> appreciate it. All right, let's sort this interior out. So, little fun silver gear knob. Is definitely going. We're not about that life. Fun flower shift knob. Now that's way better. Look at that. Oof. All right. So this is the cup holder. It's uh, just a like a universal clip-in one that goes on like your air vents. Uh, I don't think down here is going to work because that in there and a drink on it will be touching that sort of stuff so probably not going to go there. I'm thinking I'm just going to do it in the driver's side vent because the passengers have two hands so I'm just going to do it here. Um, this one's actually really awesome. All the other ones that I've seen that are like this have like plastic clip things and they're super like not tight when you put them on whereas these ones are actually like metal ones and they're like tight, very tight. So I'm going to struggle and try and get this on there. And then uh, hopefully we can, you know, store our Red Bulls. All right, this is 100% a two-hand job. In. Um, I reckon that's pretty stable. It should hold like a 250 mil can of Red Bull or like a something. Um, you know, better than not having one. That's pretty firm, actually. With that all the way down, so the bottom of it touches on the bottom of the aircon vent. Um, I don't actually think that's going to go anywhere. Um, yeah, I can probably live with that, but I'm sure I'll muck around with it a lot, but yeah, that's very cool. Almost forgot the most important thing, which is a death click Broadway mirror, uh, LED light up for those playing at home. Can't really see in the camera. Oh yeah, yeah there you go. Cool semi-transparent death click stickers, so they're actually still functional when it's off. But yeah, we're currently sold out of them, but I should have more next week or the week after, I'm really hoping so. But yeah, so keep an eye out on those. And then this shirt I'm wearing is also new, which I'll get Dave to... I'm going to put a photo in while I'm pointing this at this of the new shirts. Um, but yeah, very cool. 
update on the wheel sitch. Uh, the earbuds are on the front because they're too big to go on the rear. So I got a six and a half plus 23 on purpose. So it should have fit up the rear uh, and it's still like super tight. Um, but yeah, anyway, they're like a seven zero. So they definitely do not fit when a six and a half plus 20 does not fit, but it still looks kind of cool. I, uh, preferably I've had 14s on it, but I haven't really found a set that pop up that I like. Um, but yeah, it's still, some nice 15s all around. It looks still pretty cool. What do you think, Dave? Do you like it? Sweet. So, yeah, the fins on the front definitely would be way better. Yeah, full set would be sick. Full set would be amazing. Full set and 14s would be perfect. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'd love that combo. But this is what we're stuck with for now. 15s. But yeah, let's go wash this bad boy and then try and find somewhere to cutely photo it. But yeah, very cool. This is going to be the first legal drive of the car. Fun. Yeah, well, it definitely won't be as fun, but it'll be cool. But yeah, interior, cup holder, shifter, mirror, awesome. All right, so my idea that everything just cleared was incorrect. Everything just touches. Uh, so you start accelerating down the road with the way that roads like Canberra or whatever, sitting flat, it didn't touch, and like just in here, it didn't touch. As soon as we get out there and start driving, uh, the rear like just touches. Um, you can see just this little lip here touches it. Um, so what I'm hoping is maybe we can jack it up, take the wheel off, uh, and just soft hammer this inner guard a little bit further. Uh, and then maybe that should give us enough room, ideally. And then, I think, was it, oh, the front passenger side, um, slightly rubs on the inner liner, um, at really gentle angle turning. Uh, this rear seemed fine, was it? That was good, yeah. Yeah, that side's fine, but it looks like that one, the way that the pan hard's adjusted is it's got a little bit more gap. So, worst case, we might have to move the pan hard over a couple mil to give us a little bit more clearance on the other side, get this one a little bit closer to the guard, so then it kind of evens it up. Um, but yeah, this one, I think, rubs on the inner liner, so we might have to raise this literally, like, I think it only needs, like, a few millimetres, um, which should be fine, because then it'll actually match the rear height. But yes, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at at the moment. So it kind of sucks to find out. I really wanted to take this for a drive to the beach today but maybe tomorrow all right so it's been a few days since the last video but we what we ended up doing was pulling the inner guards out of the car and by where i mean dave did it while i was printing t-shirts uh today's sunday and i've printed like 150 shirts so <laughs> yay for weekends um anyway yeah dave pulled the inner guard out of the front uh and the rear we up to the dampeners and uh it doesn't hit very often which is perfectly fine for me and yeah, so what we're about to do now is go down to the beach and get some photos of the car after I grab a Red Bull because I'm very tired after working all day on my feet. And yeah, hopefully we're going to run into stickers up down there and get some photos of the cars together with Dave's fancy new camera that he bought. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing now. And Dave's mid-beer, so bloody Sunday for you. Sunday afternoon. Necessity. Yeah, the boys. <laughs> <laughs> And look, we ran, ran into uh, a rogue stickers. So we've made it down to, I don't know where we are, I think we're Golden Beach. We're Golden Beach sort of region? Yeah. Yeah, near that cool boat shed thing. But anyway, this is the only spot we could find that was like a car park near some water. So yeah, Dave's got his fancy camera out, taking photos. Stickers car looks way cooler than mine, but that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> way to show me up on my own friggin' video. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, this is cool. Driving that around is fucking so fun. Like, so fun. Uh, one of the rear wheels still scrubs a little bit, but I think all i got to do is just adjust the pan art across and it should be fine. Or alternatively, go buy some smaller rear tyres because a 195 is probably too big. But I wanted a lot of grip because it's beams and it should be heaps of power. <laughs> should be. Should be. Power boat club. That's you. Power boat. Real nice, real yeah. Fancy. Get the shot, champ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before anyone asks, Dave bought a Sony A7 III sort of deal. Was it the A7 I I I? I. Anyway, so yeah, if you live on the sunny coast and need photos of your car, hit him up because Dave Probably needs more. Have time to do it. <laughs> yeah. No, you're getting two weeks off at Christmas. Don't fucking at me. Anyway, Dave needs more portfolio work, so hit him up through me. 
<laughs> I'm his agent. <laughs> Alright, so as you guys can see, it's now dark. Dave's finished taking photos. Hopefully they turn out cool. Um, follow me on Instagram to see them. And uh, yeah, we're going to go find some food and then go home and edit this video and put it up for Monday night. Uh, so thank you for watching the video. Thumbs up the video, comment. I need all the engagement I can get. Let's try and grow this channel a little bit. I never actually do that stuff, so that'd be cool if you did. Uh, check out the merchandise. We've got these new hats, which will be on the website by the time you watch this, as well as those cool geisha shirts from earlier in the video. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Merry Christmas if I don't upload a video before then, and I'll see you then. Bye, Steve.